beautiful bunnies. Um, welcome back to Just for Bun. Today I just wanted to do a video for you guys on my opinion of the best and worst litters. I'll give you a little bit of information on why I like and dislike some of these things. Some things are still up for debate with research on both sides, opinions on both sides, so please don't take anything that I say super to heart. It's still your decision and your choice to do your own research. This will just give you um, a good basis and some options for you to think about. I hope you enjoy it, and if you want to leave a like and subscribe, that would be great too. So let's just get into it. So I thought I would just start out with things that in my opinion are unsafe for your rabbit or that I personally wouldn't use for my rabbit. And to begin with, we'll just talk about scented litters. I believe I've seen lavender and sometimes even coconut scented things. And let's just be honest that most animals have much more sensitive noses than us humans. So things that we find pleasant probably aren't as pleasant to them. Not to mention that many small animals have very sensitive respiratory systems. And I highly doubt that that many of these um, things are sent in naturally. I'm sure that they use chemicals, which is obviously not good. The next thing on the list is softwood shavings, which like I said, there is research on both sides for some of these things, but I just want to give you a quick rundown on the reasoning that these are considered to be unsafe for rabbits. So many people claim to use them and their rabbit is perfectly fine, but the reason that you don't normally see problems arise right away is because what these aromatic phenols in the shavings actually do is affect the rabbit's liver enzymes, and the liver is what removes toxins from the body, so we normally don't see any negative results until we do something like go to the vet and medication needs to be used on rabbits. Rabbits already have... Um, a limited amount of drugs that are actually able to be used on them and personally for me I just don't want to use anything that could change or alter the way that my animal is going to react or be able to process these drugs and the things that are affected are things like anesthetics and painkillers which are very important and need to not only be administered to work but your rabbit also needs to just as easily be able to process them and get them out of their systems and when their enzymes are affected your rabbit can no longer effectively do this giving your vet unexpected results so for me personally, it's just something that I avoid. And the very last thing on this list is clay or clumping litter. That didn't come out right. So not only is it very dusty, so it's not good for their sensitive respiratory systems, but it is also clumping in most cases. So even if they're not directly ingesting it, rabbits like to be very cleanly. They're constantly licking their paws and their bodies, so we don't want any sort of clumping action going on that could cause a blockage in their system. So I think that one's pretty awesome obvious but just wanted to point it out just in case um, and on to the next one okay so next on the list is things that I consider just to be okay litter or things that I have personally never tried so the first thing is paper based which is also called carefresh I believe is the most popular brand I think that you can also find paper based litter in um, kind of cat litter so it would be less expensive I think this is a good litter. It's really soft, but I personally never used it, so I can't really vouch for how absorbent it is or if it keeps the smell contained. But if you have rabbits with sore hawks, I think it would be really good just because it's such a comfy litter. The next thing is hay or straw. So it's not really absorbent or anything, so I personally wouldn't use it as um, a litter. I would possibly use straw as a bedding because it's going to keep your rabbit really warm, but I personally wouldn't use hay because it does have the potential to get moldy, especially a lot quicker than straw ever would. Next is newspaper or paper in general, simply because obviously it's not really absorbent. But I did use it when I got my rabbit spayed with some paper pellets underneath it just because it was something that wouldn't stick to their wound site. 
so it can be convenient in some cases or in an emergency when you have literally nothing else. Um, I highly doubt it would help with smell either, so that's not all that great. And the last one is hardwood shavings. So unlike softwood like cedar and pine, something like aspen has um, lower phenols and would be safe to use with your rabbit. Personally, honestly, I don't like these litters at all because I did have them when I very first got my rabbit, which was five years ago, and I am still freaking finding pieces everywhere. I literally had my rabbits in the basement when I first got them, and I find these things behind my bed four levels up in like my bedroom so it's kind of ridiculous I don't like them I find them to be messy I don't think that they're really absorbent I don't think that they control um, smells very well so honestly even though they're safe I would just avoid every single type of shaving that has ever existed in the existence of existence sorry I'm kind of hating on them I also put them last on the list and I don't care <laughs> okay on to the next thing Okay, so now we are getting into the good stuff. So to start with, my personal favorite is paper pellets. I would get the cat litter paper pellets like yesterday's news, or I personally use a brand called Esqui Esquizzy Cat or something, I believe. Um, so they're a lot cheaper. There is also pine pellets in the cat litter section. Those are safe. They do have the fennels removed because they are um, compressed. And then there's also horse stall pellets, the same thing. They are normally a sawdust pellet. The only kind of horse stall pellets that I would avoid is a corn cob pellet for obvious reasons. Corn is not good for rabbits and it could cause a blockage. So they may want to eat that type and I would avoid it. The next is wood stove pellets, which again, um, I would get it in a softwood form because I don't think that a hardwood pellet would be very absorbent to water. And the only thing I would avoid in the wood stove pellets is if it has any sort of accelerant to help it burn better. So just check on that and make sure it doesn't have any additives. So again, any sort of paper or sawdust based pellet, whether it be in a tractor supply store for horses, whether it be a wood stove pellet or whether it be a cat pellet, they're all going to be very cheap options that you're going to get in large quantities. And then lastly, the most ultimate of all ultimate litters is to combine them. So you could do something like a layer of newspaper, a layer of paper pellets, and then a layer of hay, or a layer of newspaper, a layer of care fresh, and then a filter layer of hay. Um, I have a video on how I personally do my litter boxes, which I'll link right now up in the corner for you if you wanted to watch that and see why this method is super amazing and super awesome, super awesome some sauce if you wanted to check that out and this will be it for my little litter best to worst litter video i hope this was helpful to you guys and if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe feel free to leave a comment below because i'd really like to hear from you guys and i'll see you next time on just for bun bye